Central Ohio Congresswoman Joyce Beatty is applauding the women who are leading the Me Too movement, especially those who are sharing their traumatic stories of harassment, even rape. Beatty says the movement is beginning to make a difference, but it can't be allowed to stall in Congress. And she says women need to take a stand, just like the warriors in the Black Panther movement. And when you saw the women coming with their spears and for their freedom, they embraced their arms against the men and said, Wakanda, it's our freedom. Joyce Beatty likes the image, always believing she needed to work twice as hard as any man, and usually for less money. As a senior vice president at The Ohio State University with a six-figure salary, only her pay was publicly criticized. And they thought my salary was too much to have a salary, yet I was the lowest paid of all of the people in the cabinet. Now, I was the only female, so all the men whether their credentials were as high as mine or not, made more money than I made, but they only singled me out. And in Congress, she is one of the women who demanded an end to the hush money slush fund. The fact that there was this fund set up so that members of Congress could pay off people they harassed, should we not be outraged by that? Oh my God, $15 million of silence money, and some of the amounts were hundreds of thousands of dollars of taxpayers' money. Beatty likens the Women's March on Washington to the Civil Rights Movement and the protests of the Vietnam War, believing change comes through public outcry. But it also comes through small victories. Years ago, as a county department head with 500 employees, she called upon CEOs to help administer a $50 million investment fund. And I was standing at the door to greet the CEOs, and the gentleman walked in and said, I'll take my coffee black, please, at the table. And, and for a few seconds, there were a lot of things I wanted to say, but I said, thank you, I'll put it there. And I set the coffee down, but the greatest moment came when I hit the gavel as I stood next to them, him and said, I will now call the meeting to order. The look on his face that I was leading that multi-million dollar meeting, and I was not the person to get his coffee. Beatty has had many firsts, including first woman to chair the Urban League, first female black or white to be the Ohio House Democratic leader. Do you know what's the best of that? That I can say that there's been a second and a third and a fourth. To brag about your first and not bring someone behind you doesn't sit well with me. And you know, Mike, one of the things she said she would like to see is to see more women in office. A lot of people are talking about this year. There are 435 members of the U.S. House, and still only 83 of them are women. Mm. So that's a remarkable, and it's a smaller percentage in the right. Senate. And a lot of that change starts with Joyce Beatty. She's yeah. been a tremendous example for others. Yeah, she really has in this community and, and in a lot of different roles at the university, at the State House, and of course now in Congress. All right. Without a doubt. Thanks, Colleen.